Why is understanding the Mental Capacity Act of 2005 and its amendments so crucial? The answer lies in ensuring the rights, autonomy and dignity of individuals who may lack the capacity to make specific decisions. So how do we go about this process? First, it's essential to familiarize yourself with the Mental Capacity Act of 2005, as amended by the Mental Capacity Amendment Act 2019. These amendments aim to bolster protections for individuals who may lack decision-making capacity. Next, always start with the presumption that every individual has the capacity to make decisions. Unless proven otherwise, this should be the default stance. Remember, capacity should be assessed on a decision-specific basis and at the time the decision needs to be made. Assessing capacity involves using the functional test outlined in the amended Mental Capacity Act. The key questions to ask are, does the individual have an impairment of the mind or brain that affects their ability to make the decision? If so, can they understand, retain, use or weigh information related to the decision and can they communicate their decision? It's also vital to provide appropriate support and assistance. Help the individual understand the decision they need to make by using accessible communication methods such as plain language, visual aids, or easy read materials. Make sure they have access to all relevant information necessary to make an informed decision, including risks, benefits, and alternatives. Then comes gaining informed consent. Before providing care or treatment, obtain consent from the individual, respecting their right to autonomy and self-determination. They must understand the nature and purpose of the decision, as well as any potential risks or consequences involved. What if an individual lacks capacity to make a specific decision? In such cases, make decisions on their behalf in their best interests. Factor in their past wishes, feelings, beliefs and values, as well as input from family members, carers and healthcare professionals. Document the decision-making process, including the factors considered and reasons for the decision in the individual's care record. Remember to regularly review the individual's capacity to make decisions, especially if their circumstances change or if they regain capacity over time. Reassess the capacity as needed and involve the individual in decision-making whenever possible. In cases of complex or contentious issues related to capacity or consent, don't hesitate to seek legal advice. Consult a solicitor or legal expert specializing in mental capacity law to ensure compliance with the amended Mental Capacity Act and safeguard the individual's rights. By adhering to these steps, caregivers, healthcare professionals and support staff can ensure that individuals' rights are protected and decisions are made in their best interests while upholding their autonomy and dignity.